everybody welcome back to about the popcorn thank you all for clicking on this video if you guys are new my name is stephanie well summer has come to an end all the kids are in school already so time to kind of wrap up all the summer releases and this is going to be my rankings of all 20 films that i saw summer 2019. i actually waited to the end of august when all the kids are actually in school to be officially the end of summer plus i wanted to add a few more to my list just to kind of give it a nice even 20 number because I'm kind of anal that way. So I was actually going to go from the beginning of May to the end of August for the movies that I'm going to incorporate in this list. But since Endgame came out at the very end of April and let's face it, it's a big ass like movie. Mind you, it didn't make it into my top 10 list of movies so far. We'll get to that later. And I know that it, a lot of people do consider it a summer film. So I'm going to go ahead and add that into the mix, into all this. I don't know what else came out that very last week of April. I'm not going with that. I'm literally just incorporating that one film into the rest of May through August. I actually just finished watching one movie right now. It's like 12.30 in the morning. I cannot believe I'm still up we're gonna see how this video ends up if you see my energy level dropping just know that it is way past my bedtime but let's go ahead and get on with this my number 20 pick would be the hustle now when i initially saw the hustle i did think that it was really good i think i even recommend it for you guys to go and see it it really is one of those that i saw i enjoyed it but it just never really crossed my mind anymore when I was looking what came out um, this summer and I saw that, I went, oh, I thought you came out like earlier in the year. It really fell short. Plus, I can't really get over that whole like toilet scene. Ugh. I do apologize for recommending that. I'll take it back. My number 19 pick is Fast and the Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. This movie is so ridiculous. I mean, I, I understand that it knows that it is ridiculous, but it is... Uh, I feel like it was such an unnecessary film to do. It doesn't make any sense. The timelines that go around in there, which I didn't even mention in my review when I initially did it, the whole, like, they're over here on one side of the world, they have a certain amount of time, yet they manage to get to Hawaii and still go and talk and, you know, ridiculous. It just doesn't make any sense. The cameos in this movie, yes, they were great. Yes, it was like oh wow a surprise like but why are you there like i feel like that was just such a waste of a good actor and i still i'm gonna try still not to give any spoilers i mean some of these maybe sean chandler he's another uh youtuber who does amazing reviews he absolutely loves it he calls this like the taco bell of <laughs> like the taco bell supreme of like movies is like a thing that he says he actually like categorizes this movie i think as his number two pick overall of the whole franchise and i think this movie on his list was like way on top i don't understand it i i i don't know my number 18 pick would be the intruder this is another one kind of like the hustle where it was entertaining while i was there did my review and then just kind of forgot about it it's just one of those that doesn't really like stay and like linger i really don't really have much about the film honestly that i could honestly remember i it, it just it's there i know i saw it but it just it wasn't like something that's gonna like stay with me forever and number 17 pick would be palms um this is another movie that i do not have a review on i actually just saw this movie last weekend and i'm actually really happy that i saw it at my house it's really entertaining it is a cute movie but mm, there's there's nothing really like special about it um, diane keaton don't get me wrong she's an amazing actress i love her but is it just me or does she pretty much play like the same character in like all her films? Uh, Rhea, Rhea per Perlman? Rhea Perlman? Ugh. Yeah, no, I'm horrible with names. I love that she's in this movie. Don't judge me, but I'm actually just now barely watching Cheers. I'm on like season four right now. I absolutely love it. I cannot believe that it's taking me this long to actually watch the show. My number 16 pick is Godzilla King of the Monsters. Um, I'm not a Godzilla fan per se. I don't really think I saw the last one. 
but I then I kind of think I did because I didn't really have Godzilla in there and I believe a lot of people had issues with him just showing up at the end and I mean we got him in this movie like for sure and then all the other monsters I mean the CGI the fighting it was good I didn't get to see the whole film fully good just because I had to keep going out because my brother kept being loud so I really didn't get to like really focus on there which is why I didn't actually do a review on it because I didn't think it was fair to to do one seeing that I didn't have my full-on attention but from what I did see I mean it was it was exciting it was Godzilla if I give it another shot it may be up higher but I really don't think so because Godzilla I don't know I feel like this is a character that has done its time in film and I think that big ass book should just kind of be closed and like filed away and just kind of be left alone and um, I know they keep remaking it and I know there are a lot of Godzilla fans out there which is why you know they keep adding more to it but me personally I think it's time to just kind of like my number 15 pick is The Secret Life of Pets 2. I cannot believe it is so far down my list, but it is. I'm very disappointed in this movie. I love part one. When I heard there was a part two coming out, I was like, yes, I would have to wait years for a part two like we did for like Finding Nemo and The Incredibles. We got it like within a short amount of time where we were getting the original cast back. We were getting new characters in here. The trailers look so funny. I went to the movies. I was there ready to enjoy myself. And then we got what we got. And I was so disappointed in it. It was, I mean, we got like, I think it was like, they're like two or three shorts. I mean, I mean, yes, there at the end, we did get them all together in the final act. But I mean, it was really just such a short amount of time. I really wish it was more, not exactly like part one obviously because you know then it would be like well they couldn't come up with anything original but what they gave us to what i was expecting i was just like mm. 14 pick is john wick chapter 3 parabellum again i cannot believe this is so far down my list i love john wick I actually went and I paid for this movie. I didn't go to a screening because it came out on my birthday weekend. Got my family, got my friends. We went, we saw, and I was just like, oh my God, what are they giving us? Like, no. I mean, the fight sequence, I mean, don't get me wrong. They're amazing. They were kick-ass. I was just like, oh shit, what? But it was just too much of it. It was just like, oh my God, like, no, it's just too much. And I mean, I get it that he was fighting for his life. You know, he had his bounty. He had lost, you know, incommunicado. Is that what it was called? Excommunicado. You know, he was excommunicado. I, I get it. You know, I do. I get it. But I kind of wish it wasn't as much as we got. And then Halle Berry was in that movie, like, that much. Like, I really wished she was in this movie more. Like, I was literally expecting her to pop up later on in the movie no that was it that was, that was the end of Hallie. i really hope that for chapter four we don't get as much comedy because you know what this does not need any kind of comedy no comic fucking kevin hart better not show up in this movie i love him don't get me wrong i live for some kevin hart but he better not end up in this movie because i know kevin be coming up and popping up in places so Kevin, you stay your ass at home and stay off of John Wick. <laughs> Number 13, and that is The Kitchen. And I do know that this movie has got a few like bad reviews. It kind of like varies on where you go because it gets some good, it gets some bad, it gets some where it's not for them, it gets some that it is for them. I, you know, at the end, I just feel like you just people who don't really like it maybe just don't want to give it a shot because it is females in a mob movie girls didn't really realize how bad they really were but they technically were worse than the men uh and of course tiffany's character i believe her name is ruby in this movie if i'm not mistaken you know had her own agenda behind everything 
but so maybe in a few months or possibly more likely years uh, when we get more movies like this because you know being like girl power and women empowerment will get more movies like this so it become more accepting my number 12 pick would be Avengers Endgame so it's up there higher almost almost to midpoint but not quite because I was pretty disappointed it obviously this movie and pretty much like all the reviews that I've seen this one is like their number one pick same thing with like movies that they're seen so far this has been a number one pick I think I saw it like two or three weeks later I really don't remember so I think from where it had been so hyped up I was expecting it to be even like more and when I was watching it I was just like oh, I'm ready you guys like Seriously, where everybody was telling me I was going to be crying, I literally went to the theater with a box of tissue. I was like, I'm going to be ready. Like, you're, you're not going to catch me off guard. My sister has seen it before I did, and she went again and saw it with us. And she loved it. She said she cried. My nephew, he said it was overrated, and I was just like, mm, like I'm not going to trust you. Um, I mean, I love him, but I was like, no, you just, no. I'm not, I'm not going to trust him on this movie. Of all things like I don't know he's crazy I might just disown you so I went in there thinking oh my god I'm gonna get greatness I'm gonna I'm gonna love this movie I'm gonna be so you know I'm ready with my tissues cause I'm gonna be sobbing no I, I got like a few tears when Tony died I just don't know what I was expecting but and I know that well now us three fall within that lower category of not being very impressed with this movie and trust me I texted my nephew and I was like yeah you were right overrated kind of disappointed and I know that this right here is probably gonna give me a bunch of like dislikes please do not dislike this video but I will give it another shot because I feel like it deserves a second shot so I will give it a second one uh, this may be one of those like movies that it's going to take me more than once to watch it to fall in love with it yeah i know we all have those movies and we'll see where it ends up at the end of the year on my list all right so let's go ahead and move on with my number 11 pick is the art of racing in the rain I never talked bad about it you guys i really didn't i just really want to clarify you know it's all of the point of view of enzo and just kind of how him and in milo cannot remember his name in the movie <laughs> Um, you know, went through life and everything that they went through from, you know, when he got him as a puppy to meeting the wife, getting married, having the kid, going through a loss, trying and still trying to help Milo's character achieve his dream of becoming this race car driver. I haven't read the book. I'm on my cue list for my Audible, but right now I'm on the Game of Thrones and that is a super long book. So bear with me, I'll eventually get to it. But I really do enjoy this movie. I honestly thought that I was gonna cry in this movie as well. Again, I am a crier. Actually, this one, when I saw the trailer, I'm like, at the end, I go, I'm gonna cry in this movie, I already know it. And I went again prepared with my tissues. But it did fall, unfortunately, a little bit short. So let's go ahead and go on with my number 10 pick, which is actually the one that I just finished watching today. It is a long shot. Actually, really surprised on how much I enjoyed this movie. When I saw the trailer, I was just like, uh, not really for me. Of course, when reviews came out, there was kind of also mixed on it being really funny, really great, and some of them also fell really short. And for me, it kind of was more so in the middle. I didn't absolutely love it, but I didn't absolutely hate it. It could also be in my top 10 just because I literally just saw it. I don't know. I'm just going to put that out there right now. It is like fresh on my mind. I really like that, you know, Seth's character had absolutely no problem being with the Secretary of State. You know, her being like this really powerful important female and even Charlize said a lot of men find me intimidating because you know they don't really want a powerful partner they say that they do but when it comes down to it no they want to be the ones in charge not be intimidated and not feel like less of a man here comes Seth who literally has absolutely no problem with it My number nine pick is the Lion King and that this is another one that I don't have a review on because I did see it like 
I think like a month after it came out. Me and my sisters were probably like the only ones there that were like singing along. Just can't wait to be king. Like seriously, at one point I was just like, just can't wait. And I'm like, wait a minute, I'm singing kind of loud. Wait a minute. So I my sisters, oh my God, is somebody else singing too? And I stay quiet and I go, nope, it's just us. To be king. Oh yeah, we were those people. We did it, it happened. Simba's mane was the main th problem for me. It, it animated one, it's fuller and it's fuller. And live action, Simba needed more, more volume. It, it, it kind of fell short. I don't know what the point of that was. Like I'm sure it has some sort of significance. But you are basing this off of a cartoon that already exists that's very popular. You need to give him more volume. Like, really. Number eight pick would be The Sun is Also a Star. This movie was so sweet. I really enjoyed it. I didn't actually think I was going to enjoy it as much as I did. I was like, oh, really? A day to fall in love. But yet, but you know, it is a movie. So, like, that's how they always fall in love. Sometimes it's just literally like a little like twinkle and it's like oh my god love. There's another one that's also a book that I have also not read or listened to. Again it's also in my queue. This is actually before The Art of Racing in the Rain. The main thing that I actually really loved about this movie was all the scenery shots of New York. I want to know where their story ends up, where they're going because it's kind of like we circled back to the beginning and it was sweet and i do and i did enjoy the ending don't get me wrong but i i need to know where these characters end up let's go ahead and go with my number seven pick and that would be dora and the lost city of gold now this is another movie that a lot of people just do not like i really enjoyed this movie and i'm not a dora the explorer fan it was just really fun it was crazy, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, it, it's, it's a little bit ridiculous. Not as ridiculous as Hobson Shaw was, but, you know, the, the, the story, it, it, it is, you know, I mean, they're teenagers, they go half across the world, I mean, they technically get kidnapped, right? But, and then they end up following, like, this friend of the families, right, that's trying to track them and get them to them, you know, of course, has this own agenda behind it at the end i know that's kind of like a spoiler but yeah we're here at this point now but this is like a kid movie so this is we're not the demographics for this you know okay that is it's freaking hilarious he was one of the parts that made me laugh the hardest i still go with that when they're cartoons and he gets naked it's i love it and number six pick is the angry birds movie two this movie is so hilarious you guys I literally this one actually brought me to tears I mean the way that everything was brought into this movie I thought was just great all the new characters that we got were just so funny everything fit in perfectly you end up forcing these two enemies to like work together because there is a bigger threat over here and then you kind of like sprinkle a little bit of romance in there you add a little dash of like protective brother in there as well and then you like also garnishing off with these like really cute chicklins that are doing their own thing but somehow manage to work within the whole movie and ultimately kind of ends up helping them out let's go ahead and move on with my number five pick which will be pokemon detective pikachu now i just saw this again for a second time also last week and i enjoyed it again um i love pokemon i was a big pokemon uh fanatic when i was younger i saw the cartoons i had the training cards when i heard that this movie was coming out i went yes you know this one is technically based off of a video game which i did not play because i didn't have video games when i was younger rhyme city was amazing i love what they did to it i was just like the whole time i'm just like oh some of the character uh there was one that i know when i did my review the panda i didn't realize that that was 
a Pokemon, but that somebody did tell me that that was part of a video game. So thank you uh, for uh, informing me on that because I was just like, where did this panda come from? And with that, we're going to go ahead and move on to my number four pick. And believe it or not, it's actually the dead don't die. I know you guys are probably like, what the fuck? You put in game as your number 13, but yeah, you have this fucking movie as your number four pick. And my answer to that is yes. Yes, I do. It's a, it is a ridiculous movie, I know, but it's my type of ridiculous. I love a good comedy movie that knows how to make fun of itself. That makes no sense. I just, I don't know. Everything about this movie, I, I enjoyed the every, all the actors that were in here i'm just like i can't believe you're in this movie but i love that you're in this movie selena kind of like halle berry you know was announced being in this movie i like halle believe she was going to be in this more i expected more of a role for her just like halle she was in it that long but i enjoyed what we got i don't think i gave me any spoilers in my original review but I'm gonna go ahead and give you spoilers now because the movie has been out for so long already we got zombies in here right this is a zombie movie it's ridiculous because they come back and they have like the personality of who they were when they were alive which I believe may be a first for a zombie movie that that happens I cannot recall them having the personality of who they were alive in other zombie movies if they do let me know in the comment section below which one but yeah i know i don't like scary movies but like for some reason zombies are kind of the exception but either way it goes not only do we get zombies but we get freaking aliens <laughs> and i'm totally here for it i i i love this movie number three pick actually dropped because it was my number one pick when i did my top 10 of the year so far a dog's journey this is how you do a good canine movie i cried every time that damn dog died <laughs> every time i think well maybe i didn't cry with one but i think i may for sure have shed a, a tear or something but I loved it I never even saw the first part still to this day have not seen the first part I know that when I did the review I was like I'm gonna need to see it I still haven't seen it my number two pick is good boys this movie was so funny it's like like I said in my review it's like junior super bad I love super bad if you we're not a fan of super bad again this movie i don't feel like it's going to be for you if you do not like like raunchy comedies this movie is not for you if you are totally against kids like cussing this movie is not for you if you are a kid this movie is not for you now if you love a good raunchy movie this movie is for you um they have their obstacles that come around some of them are funnier than others some jokes may you know um fall short um some jokes you know they are very predictable but they just work you guys well for me they worked sorry you guys we have made it down to my number one pick but before i give that to you guys please if you have made it this far Please subscribe to my channel that would be absolutely fantastic if you help my channel grow because i love doing this i love talking about movies i know i'm not your typical like movie critic but i literally feel like i'm talking to like my friends when i'm giving my reviews so my number one pick is toy story 4. oh i absolutely love this movie i love all the toy stories Toy Story 2 is actually probably my least favorite. I feel like this really just kind of closed off the chapter of the whole Toy Story deal for me. I don't know if we're going to get more. I feel like we shouldn't. Uh, but I feel like they may end up doing something just with like maybe possibly like the lost toys. Because I feel like if you do continue the Toy Story story... <laughs> Um, you have to do it with Woody. Like, I, I feel without Woody, 
it just wouldn't work and don't get me wrong i love the other characters but i feel like i'm okay not having them there like i feel like if we did you know the rest of the the crew without woody i don't feel like it wouldn't really work as well if that makes sense I don't know how do you guys feel if they were to do a Toy Story 5 like would you prefer it to be with you know Bo and Woody or do you want it to be still with the little girl I don't remember her name but you know with Buzz and Jesse and the whole OG crew in the house with Forky and the other whatever the hell she made um like wh which one would you guys do want to do when i heard about toy story 4 i was just like mm, i don't know because i feel like toy story 3 ended beautifully i cried when that ended and you know of course i cried i cried in toy story 4 as well but i feel like that was just like the perfect ending like i was just like okay andy's going off to college we're done we're closing that chapter um molly i think her name is actually right is it molly you know she gets the she gets to inherit the, the toys and that that was it like to me that was the end of the story you know it was just like okay you know you're gonna have them for whatever period of time and maybe you're gonna end up just you know donating them to the next child once you know she becomes of age and this was to show you just how good this movie is um i i saw when i was on vacation we, i went to mexico so i saw it in spanish and usually when i watch movies i always always i don't know why but i always as i'm watching them i'm translating it in my head with the character's voice whoever the actor is you know when i'm translating it i say it in their i say it in my head with their voice i don't know why i've always done it it's very annoying i cannot stop but for toy story 4 i didn't do that i was i didn't even realize until the very end i went oh my god i didn't translate you so we have made it to the end thank you all for joining me i hope you enjoyed this video i only did 20 films um which i don't really think it's a lot uh i know some people may think it's a lot but i i feel like others had way more movies than i did i know one in particular you are not very fond of where it ended up on my list but again it is my own personal list but let me know in the comment section below where um you guys rank your movies or just let me know where you guys end up ranking in game because I know that's like the main one going on. And again, don't forget to like this video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. I am so ready for bed. I'm so ready to take this makeup off. So until next time, I'll be seeing you at concession. Bye.